Francois Benecourt Myers is a household name among businesswomen around the world. She is one of the world's wealthiest women. She has held the number one position for a very long time. She is the chairwoman of L'Oreal, one of the world's largest corporations. She is a French billionaire who has achieved numerous milestones throughout her long and illustrious career. Her grandfather founded L'Oreal, and she was the family's only daughter. So she received a 33% stake in the company. Then, after her mother died in 2017, she received her mother's shares, making her the world's richest woman. Today's video shows you how she became rich and what her investments are, how she spends, and everything about her lifestyle. But before that, subscribe to our channel for more uploads like these. Here we go. Françoise Betancourt Myers is a French businesswoman, writer, pianist, philanthropist, and billionaire heiress, with a net worth of 75.3 billion as of March 2022 to Forbes. She is Lillian Betancourt's only child and granddaughter of Eugene Schuler, the founder of L'Oréal Paris. Her mother died in September 2017. After which her fortune tripled thanks to her investments through her family holding company Tethys Invest and the stock exchange's high valuation of L'Oreal shares. She was raised as a strict Catholic and has written several Bible commentaries. She married John Paul Myers, the grandson of an Auschwitz rabbi, and raised their children Jean Victor and Nicholas as Jews. Her marriage sparked debate because her grandfather Eugene Schuler was on trial for collaborating with the Nazi government. Betancourt Myers and her family retained a 33% stake in the company. She sued François Marie Bagnier in 2008 for stealing money from her mother, and she filed a petition to have her mother declared mentally incompetent. The worth Betancourt scandal arose due to the revelations in the secret recordings she used as evidence. Betancourt Myers announced in December 2010 that she had reached an out-of-court settlement with both her mother and Bagnier. Betancourt Myers' mother died in September 2017 with a net worth of approximately 39.5 billion, placing her among the top 20 richest people in the world. Betancourt Myers and L'Oreal pledged 226 million to repair Notre Dame de Paris after a fire severely damaged it. A brief about her brand L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal SA is a French cosmetic and personal care company based in Clichy, Hauts de Seine, with a registered office in Paris. It was the world's largest cosmetic company with activities focusing on hair color, skin care, sun protection, makeup, perfume, and hair care. Brands are generally classified according to their target markets, including the mass professional, luxury. And active cosmetic markets, the Body Shop and Galdemira are directly connected to the corporate headquarters. L'Oreal also has holdings in fine chemicals, healthcare, finance, advertising, design, and insurance. Far from being a stodgy conglomerate, the 100-year-old company has remained innovative through technology and acquisitions. For example. It recently released a headset to assist people in making precise fragrant selections. More importantly, L'Oreal continues to acquire indie brands and form strategic alliances to stay ahead of trends. Jeka, a genderless makeup brand founded by LGBTQ and transgender advocate Jessica Blacker, was accepted into its Open Innovation Program in 2018. It recently purchased Youth to the People. A Californian skincare company that uses vegan blends and superfood extracts in 2021, a fixture in the beauty aisle of Urban Outfitters, the Gen Z brand was expected to record more than 50 million in sales in 2021, according to L'Oreal. L'Oreal's group of companies generated more than 35 billion in revenue in 2021, and the company employs 85,000 people globally. Betancourt Myers is also the president of her family's charitable foundation, which promotes France's role in advancing science and the arts. What about her real estate, car collection, lifestyle, vacations, and more? First, let's hear about her real estate. 
she inherited tens of billions of dollars in assets, including a Parisian mansion in the suburbs of Paris. The property is located in Neuilly sur Seine, a posh district west of Paris. Neuilly sur Seine is known in France as a power suburb, a place not only of wealth but also of influence. Second, Betancourt's vacation home is Arcoest Headland, Brittany, West France. Betancourt spent his childhood in the mansion Brittany Colonnade Villa. There are 25 rooms on the Brittany estate, as well as a tennis court and a swimming pool. Betancourt Meyer's home in Neuilly sur Seine, where she resided in July 2010, in fact, as part of their investigation into the Betancourt case, French police raided this residence in 2010. Next comes her car collection. Unlike her mother, who enjoyed black Mercedes, it appears she does not. She chooses to spend her money on piano instead of on exotic cars, but she does have some cars. She owns a very expensive and luxurious car collection, which includes a Jaguar F-Type, a Bentley Continental, a Porsche 911, as well as a Ferrari. She is the world's richest woman, so she deserves some opulence. Now let's explore her lifestyle. Francoise Betancourt Myers may be the world's wealthiest woman, but her path has not been easy. Betancourt Myers and her mother had a strained relationship. Furthermore, the Betancourts were well known for their lavish and private parties in French society. Despite being born into a wealthy family, Betancourt Myers preferred playing the piano and writing to extravagant parties. Betancourt Myers, unsurprisingly, was not a part of her socialite parents' glamorous lifestyle. Next, we have a vacation. The Myers family and their son, John Victor Myers, spent their vacation in the French Alps on the Megiv Slopes. They also pay visits to their ancestral home in Brittany, Arcoest. Liliane, her mother, loved to travel to places like seashells, Agadir and Barbuda. As a result, we can assume that she must have joined her mother on those trips with their only daughter. What about her investments? Of course, she is a popular billionaire, so she might have some endorsement, investments and more. Talking about her investments, Betancourt Myers has also contributed to her family's charitable foundation, promoting scientific and artistic developments in France. Furthermore, the organisation annually awards cash grants to promising young scientists. Furthermore, it has a budget of 250 million euro per year with 55% going to research and education programs, 33% going to humanities and social science, and 12% going to culture and the arts. The foundation's assets are currently worth nearly 700 million. Now let's talk about endorsement and book publications. The chairwoman of L'Oreal does not require any endorsements because she is the owner of the world's largest cosmetic company. Her publication of books she was raised as a devout Catholic and has written several Bible readings as well as books on Jewish-Christian relations. In addition, the heiress has written books on a variety of topics including Greek mythology. Myers is the author of several books including the Greek gods and a book like the Bible. She also does charity and is a great philanthropist. Betancourt Myers did not keep the entire sum for herself. In fact, she and L'Oreal contributed 226 million to the renovation of Notre Dame de Paris following a fire that severely damaged the church. She is also the president of the Betancourt Schuller Foundation, which she co-founded in the 1980s. Talking about her career, Betancourt Myers, unlike most billionaire heiresses, has focused her efforts on her work as an author and member of L'Oreal's board of directors. Jean-Pierre Myers, her husband, is the CEO of Tethys SAS, a French spirits producer. He also serves on the boards of Nestlé and L'Oréal. Nestlé, with a 23.29% stake, is the company's second largest shareholder. The couple also has two grown children, Jean Victor and Nicholas. Jean Victor joined the L'Oréal board of directors in 2012 alongside Betancourt Myers. Aside from that, she has established herself far too well to need to bother with anything. Similarly, Francoise Betancourt Myers' net worth of 86 billion can currently buy 49.2 million troy ounces of gold or 1.15 billion barrels of crude oil. 
Overall, women compete with men in the economic sector to make a fortune and a name for themselves, and they leave no stone unturned. Being the richest woman worldwide, she gained some careers and awards. Francoise Betancourt Myers is a highly successful French woman. She is the world's richest woman with an estimated fortune of more than 95 billion. She is the chairwoman of L'Oreal, the world's largest hair care and beauty industry company. Her grandfather founded the company and her family received a 33% stake in it. She didn't have much wealth until 2017, but after her mother died, she received her share worth more than 39.5 billion. Soon after, she became the world's richest woman. According to Bloomberg, her net worth is 90 billion, which is quite impressive. So what do you think about the lifestyle of Francoise Benecourt Myers? Let us know your views about her lifestyle and net worth in the comment section below. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on more videos like this until the next video. See you soon!